to Skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here, and as promised, I have some fun facts on the Main Street vehicles today. Um, the only reason why I'm doing the Main Street vehicles and not the um, short that I promised you guys um, was because I couldn't find any facts on it, so, you know, when I don't find facts on a video or a movie, I find facts on the um, attractions at Disneyland. Um, so this goes over not only um, facts about the Main Street vehicles, but also goes over fun facts about the Disneyland Railroad and the red car trolley. I thought it went over stuff about um, the monorail too, but I guess I was wrong looking back on it. Um, sorry about all the noise in the background. Um, my fan's kind of blown around, so if that's what you hear. Sorry about that. So here are some fun facts about the Main Street vehicles at Disneyland. Ride any of the Main Street vehicles early in the mornings before crowds arrive. You can take the opportunity to chat with the drivers of the vehicles who are always excited to share their immense knowledge of the parks. The horse-drawn streetcars of Main Street are a family favorite when considering Disneyland transportation options. The horses that pull these vehicles used to be kept on property at what was fondly known as Circle D Ranch. It has recently been moved due to the expansion of Star Wars Land, although you can still find the horses clip-flopping down Main Street each day. The 1900s barbershop quartet, the Dapper Dance, can usually be found entertaining guests on Main Street, but occasionally they'll hop on one of the Main Street vehicles. Disney cast members have confirmed that each horse works no more than four hours a day. Another fun fact is that the horses, just like all the other cast members, wear name tags. Make sure to try and catch a glimpse of your carriage's horse power uh, on your next trip to find their name tags. The Omnibus is the gas-powered open-air two-story bus that drives around Main Street every so often. While, the, while this reminds guests of the vintage tour vehicles in the early Los Angeles, it also, it's also a great spot for photography. You might even be able to get that perfect picture of Sleeping Beauty's castle from the second story of this Disneyland transportation option. The original Main Street fire engine is permanently parked at the fire station, but the new replica can still transport up to eight guests down Main Street. The Jitney is another fun Disneyland transportation option that is modeled after the early automobile without a roof. Most don't realize it, but the sounds of the Jitney are often featured on Disneyland Park soundtracks. Walt Disney's love of trains started long before Disneyland opened. He and his friends built a miniature railroad dubbed the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad, because of his home address in his backyard. Walt also built the steam engine that ran on the track, naming it Lily Bell after his wife Lillian. You can find a replica of the mini steam locomotive at the Main Street Railroad Station in Disneyland or the original in the Walt Disney Family Museum in San Francisco. Financing for Disneyland wasn't always easy and Walt Disney often financed the attractions himself. The Disneyland Railroad, Mark Twain Riverboat, and Monorail are just some of the transportation options he financed himself. Walt personally owned the company that operated the Santa Fe and Disneyland Railroad franchise. The name of the company was Rhett Law, Walter spelled backwards. The first cast members of the railroad and other transportation services in Disneyland had their checks signed by Walt himself. The Disneyland Railroad featured two locomotives when the park opened. The two locomotives were named Rhett Law No. 1 and Rhett Law No. 2 and were loved dearly by guests as some of the first Disneyland transportation vehicles. Today there are five locomotives used for Disneyland transportation. Four are named after Santa Fe executives, C.K. Holiday, E.P. Ripley, Fred Gurley, and Ernest S. Marsh. The fifth was added for the 50th anniversary in 2005 and named after Ward Kimball, a Disney Imagineer and animator. The oldest of the locomotives is Fred Gurley, built in 1894. That's not the oldest ride in the park, though. That distinction is held by King Arthur's Carousel, originally built in 1875. All of the Disneyland locomotives have been converted to use cooking oil from the Disneyland deep fryers. The, shortage, the storage area for the Disneyland transportation trains is near It's a Small World. When you're near the attraction, look to your right and see if you can find the tracks that led to the, Dis that led to the train storage facility. Disneyland cast members report that the goal is for three of the five trains to be in service on any given day. Each train is scheduled to reach the Main Street Station every 20 minutes so that they match parade and closing times. The trains in Mark Twain Riverboat exchange greetings in passing. 
Oftentimes, one will use their whistle to play the five, the first five notes of shave and haircut, and the other will finish with final two notes. The Disneyland Railroad travels through time. It passes through a few different eras on its trip around the park. The track used to be a total of 1.2 miles, although that has likely changed with the new track being slightly shortened for Star Wars Land. In 1976, the Disney family added a special presidential railroad car to the Disneyland Railroad in celebration of America's bicentennial. The car was named the Lily Bell as homage to Walt's wife and Carol Wood Pacific Railroad. Guests were invited to ride in the car with an appointment during the 50th anniversary, but that is no longer allowed. However, rumor has it that lucky guests occasionally get to ride on the secret car from time to time. The monorail was built as part of Disneyland's e-ticket expansion in 1959. Walt invited Vice President Richard Nixon to the ribbon-cutting ceremony and let Nixon's daughters have the honor of cutting the ribbon. The scissors didn't cooperate and Walt ended up having to rip the ribbon himself. Huh. So I guess the monorail was mentioned. Sorry about that. <laughs> the red car trolley is an attraction in Disney California Adventure that provides transportation between Buena Vista Street and Hollywood Land. The trolley is a replica of one that once served the Southern California area in 1920s, fitting the theme and decor of Buena Vista Street perfectly. The trolley is part of the red car trolley newsboys show that features Mickey Mouse along with some amazing 1920s talent. Alright guys, so that was all the fun facts I have for the Main Street vehicles and others. Uh, tomorrow you're going to be getting fun facts for Mickey Mouse Hawaiian Holiday. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye little skeletons. Love you guys.